I'm at the West Coast Racers Media Day, so how about you and I dive right in? So since the last video, they've added a lot more detail, especially on the main building right here, which I'll show you in just a minute. But what's cool is this area has finally come together. Everything looks great. They've even painted some more lines on the ground here to make it look more like a street. It, it's so much better than what it used to be here because uh, Cyclone Bay definitely needed some upgrades. Now that with a new theme, a brand new coaster, yeah, it, it's it, this is honestly a really cool space now. And also today, my grandmother is joining me she loves roller coasters and what better day to experience all the coasters on a media day for a brand new one here at Magic Mountain. So Grandma, what do you think uh, so far by the looks mm, of it? So far, I'm, I'm impressed. I, I am impressed. This is a great improvement to this area and they've done a fine job. Of, all the detail is amazing. So. Yeah, especially this artwork right here. Oh, this is brand new, by the everything. way. And doesn't that look awesome? And it looks fantastic with the coaster in the background too. Right in the background. Yeah. And then inside the queue space here, they've added so much. They have the video screens on. They've even added these little bits of theming here and there to make it look more like a garage because before, during the previews, which remember, technical previews, that means they're not really done with everything. They're still adding a lot of little components, but now they have a lot of little things that make it look more like a garage. They have all the little pieces over here. They have the toolbox over there. And of course, they've added a mat underneath this car, which is really neat, and uh, the paint. Swa not the paint swaps, that's like for like wraps. So that looks really cool, but yeah, pretty neat. And up here in station load, they've added some more artwork here on the wall. The wall was, before was just a plain flat blue, but now they have the West Coast Customs logo as well as West Coast Customs design right there. It's really cool. I'm glad that they've been adding more and more into this. A little bit further down from the station load, they've even added some artwork on the outside of the speed shop, which is the uh, coaster's gift shop. So I believe you exit into the gift shop. If not, it, the entrance is just right here because the exit to the coaster usually is right over here. But beautiful looking shop. And then of course, a beautiful looking piece of artwork on the outside of it. And we also have some things that I didn't cover in the last video, like the chicken coop. This is the new uh, eatery. I'm assuming they're gonna have a bunch of great chicken strips and a bunch of other kind of chicken dishes here. But it's nice that more specialty food is showing up in this area. And honestly, yeah, the area looks fantastic. I'm glad that they uh, really invested in this back area of the park because let's face it, this area of the park was looking pretty shabby back in the day, but now this is really gorgeous. So glad that they uh, fixed it up. And yeah, shout out to Six Flags for really taking care of this area of the park. And what's cool over here on the outside of the underground closest to uh, walking out towards Jetstream, they've added all of this really cool marketing out here, which is awesome. They have the taco, twin, tar twin charge taco stand, they have Mountain Wave, all these great posters out here. So it's fantastic. I'm, again, I'm glad that they're continuing to improve this area because a couple days ago, they still had so much work to be done, especially with the artwork on the sides of the buildings and the artwork is just really beautiful. It's really well done. They're also finishing up the go-kart, so those should be open. Uh, hopefully by the time uh, the, the coaster is officially open to the public. If not, I would assume in the next couple weeks or so, they're still finishing up a few more things, but it's nice to see this ready to go as well. Yeah, you can see here on the outside of the exterior of the station building that they've added the West Coast Custom sign. They've added a lot of these little details on the sides here too, which are really cool. It, you know, I hadn't seen this building uh, all dolled up the last time I was here. It was just a kind of a plain black structure, but now with all the details on it, it looks fantastic. Alrighty, we finally made it on the ride. Yes. Your oh, first time on West Coast Race time. Racers. West time. Coast Racers. Sorry, I'm yes. just so excited. <laughs> and this is another record breaker for you. Yeah. Yeah. All new coaster, record breaker. Yes. We're it's, ready to do it. It's we're ready. We're, <laughs> we are so ready. You know, this is exciting. I love it. Here we go. Love it, love it. Now we're in the pit stop. Yeah, we get a little pause. 
Get a little breather. So smooth though, huh? Oh, okay. Welcome back. So I hope you enjoyed that. Smooth. So smooth. So great sound effects too. The, oh yeah, the, the sound whole, effects are great. You know, the, the whole package. Oh, yeah, so wonderful. this is awesome. This is great. I tell you, the kids are gonna love this. Oh my god. <laughs> We're ready. All right, <laughs> launch number. This will be launch number three. Okay. And we got another one. That's four launches on this ride, which is amazing. Really? Oh yeah. Oh, I love it. I I love it. this. Is oh. What a perfect ride. And it's a gorgeous day today, too. It is. It's so awesome when you can interact with a car on the other side over there. Oh, that, that's Fantastic. one of the best parts of the ride is seeing the other train Great. duel and race you as you go through the circuit. Similar to the other. Yeah. yeah. All right. I love it. They put it in a perfect place. All right, here we go. Perfect location. <laughs> perfect location. Oh, yeah. Woo Racers is a great love ride it. here at the mountain. Love it. You gotta do it. If you haven't done it yet, come out to the mountain and do it. It is a solid it coaster. It is a winner. It's a winner. It is a solid it really coaster. So much. Awesome. They, they nailed this one. They yeah. really nailed it. Really nailed it. <laughs> yeah, this is one you can look forward to. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so we just got off West Coast Racers and what did you think? I loved it. I, I think the, the, they really hit the nail on the head. It's going to interest a lot of uh, broad age group, from the young ones to the old ones, that's for sure. And it's it's intense enough uh, to satisfy those that are looking for the uh, coaster coaster. Oh, and there it goes. It's, it's, <laughs> there it goes. <laughs> yeah, so, it's... so you get a thrill, there's no doubt about that. And yet it's, it's of the uh, class of the younger enjoy it also along with your parents so, yeah uh, it's yeah. a perfect addition to the park it it's really perfect. is um, I know some people might talk bad about the coaster but really no, no. just ride it and your opinion will probably change it is a fantastic coaster it's super smooth it's pretty forceful for what it is looks are deceiving definitely on yeah. this coaster it is yes it's, it's got some intense turns and uh, the speed is just right. It's a good coaster. Yeah. Well, that's going to do it for today's video. Thank you so much to Six Flags Magic Mountain for inviting us out to have a great time this morning. It was so much fun. West Coast Racers is a fantastic addition to the park, and I urge everyone to come out and give it a try. Another record breaker for the park. And again, this, this park has so many great coasters. So if you haven't been here in a while, definitely make a trip out here. And also, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel and you love theme park content, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and notification bell so you'll stay up to date on every time I post new videos. I also have an Instagram page at Theme Park Obsession, so be sure to follow that because I post content there that I don't normally post here on YouTube. But other than that, I hope you have a beautiful evening, day, morning, whatever it is, and I'll see you next time in the parks. Bye.